Hello and many thanks for joining me for another Somerset Real Ale review. Um, I don't know if you saw my video of all the uh, beers from the Bristol Beer Factory that I visited, but um, anyway, here is the Acer. Um, not had this one before, although I have heard of it, and uh, was really happy to get my hands on it. Um, it's 3.8% uh, ABV. Brown 500ml bottle, nice green label. I love the designs of the Bristol Beer Factories um, bottles. They're fantastic. The labels. Only thing I did forget to get when I was went up there was a glass. Nice little smoky opening, plain gold crown. Yeah, I didn't get a glass, which was a shame. So I've got my cheddar ales one. Um, slowly building up quite a nice collection of glasses, but the trouble is, there's so many beers. Drink so many beers, you can't have a glass for every beer. It's impossible. Wow, look at that. I'm going to get all this in here, in here I think, because... Now, it is bottle conditioned, this one. I don't know whether you're going to pick that sediment up on the base there. I normally stir it up and leave it in the, in the bottle, but... Um, I didn't today. Um, it's slightly cloudy. That is the sediment in there. Um, I've had the bottle stirred up a little bit, so I mean, you you should ideally let it settle, and you can uh, you can avoid getting the sediment in the pint then. But I mean, I don't mind the sediment; it won't hurt you. There's no head on this. Um, a few just off white bubbles on the top there. It's um, oh, brassy, getting on for amber in colour. It's between gold and Gold to a well, golden with an amber tinge. I'm going to say it is, uh, and carbonation-wise, nothing, no carbonation in that at all. Uh, let's get their nose in. You're getting that lovely sort of malty. fresh, malty goodness. It's like a pale of crystal malt in there. Nice and citrusy, fresh. This is one of those beers that smells, the smell of it reminds me why I love real ale so much and craft beer. And it's got a slight It's a sort of, it's just a fruity sort of, um, citrusy, fr fruity citrusy sort of. Not quite a strawberry, I don't know. Anyway, it smells amazing and I've got to dig into this. Cheers everyone. That is so welcome. Oh, that's amazing. You get quite a bit of sweetness at the start. Lovely maltiness. And the malt carries on, but you're adding, the bitterness is added later on, towards the end. A good five or six seconds after you've swallowed the beer, you've got that lovely bitter, lovely, it's just a bitter sting on, not sting, but a bitter kick on your tongue. It's gorgeous. <coughs> Pardon me. It's not very highly carbonated. I like that in a beer. Um, others won't. But to be honest, I think even if you do like a lot of carbonation in your beer, this makes up for the lack of carbonation with a massive amount of flavour. There's so much flavour, 3.8%, this has got a huge amount of flavour and a very prolonged taste as well. It's more bitter than sweet, this beer. I love, I love that. I mean, to be honest, I think it's, to me, it's one of those perfect session beers so much flavour in it this session. This low ABV beer punches well above its weight, golden in colour and powerfully hot. 
This is a giant for its strength. We use Columbus for bitterness and a big late edition of Sorachi Ace to give an intriguing aroma dominated by bright lemon citrus with notes of dill and coconut. Uh, bottle condition, I won't read about all that. Well, that is a fantastic beer. Um, Bristol Beer Factory, uh, bristolbeerfactory.co.uk. Um, they're on Twitter, Brist Beer Factory, on Facebook, um, uh, facebook.com forward slash uh, beer Facebook, something like that. Um, I'm sure it's on their website. In fact, I know it's on the website. There's links on the website to it. Um, right, let's have another. Yeah, now, now, they've, now we've, they've mentioned the coconut on there. It's funny, you can slightly get it, but I wouldn't have got that without the, without the notes on there. It's got... To me, this beer has got... It's got the benefits of a bitter and a pale ale mixed in together. I wouldn't know whether to class this as a bitter or a pale ale. Um, I, I think it is a cross between the both, and, and, and it's a, that's a good thing because it's almost a style of its own. It's fantastic. I've only ever tasted one beer like this, and that was the Gloucester Breweries. Um, they're gold. Gloucester Breweries gold. It was a bit more than the golden ale. It wasn't quite, it was more between a pale ale and a golden ale. It's really. It's got um, uh, benefits of uh, benefits of both, as is this. This is a fantastic beer. I highly recommend you get hold of it, as in the rest of the Bristol Beer Factory range. Thank you very much to the Bristol Beer Factory once again. And um, I think for rating wise, this is going to get this is going to get eight out of ten for me. I'll definitely be getting it again. Love to try it on cask. Go out and try it and buy it. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching.